That should. And that's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now a handoff looking right. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. And they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Second down and seven. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. Young will set to throw. And that is incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. Now Mason Crosby for the Packers field goal try. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. The kick by Crosby is good, and they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to 7. So the lead grows here incrementally, but I think the way their defense is playing, you feel okay with just getting three. They've definitely been stout so far, but now that could all change because if one guy gets loose for 70 yards, this is a different game. But as it stands, field goals are good. Just keep adding to that lead. After the main field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Carter. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. First down, here's a run with Peterson. And not a whole lot doing there, so he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Credit it with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They're going to look to throw toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They're going to need some therapy after this. <laughs> Looking to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Peterson. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard strike. So the completion good for seven there. 
And that's going to make it fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. 47 yards on the punt that time, just one yard on the return. And the Packer drive will start from deep in their own territory with a first and 10. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. The pass there over the middle to start things out. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets his football out shy of the 30 to the 29. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 41 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? That's not the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. From just shy of midfield, Young, wide open receiver complete. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 38 yard line. I think it all came together there in breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 38. Young working out of the gun. And that's complete to Adams. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were Come able to connect. Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. It's Packer football here as they've got the lead as well to begin the fourth quarter. and 10 young over the middle it's complete a strong broken tackle on that one and then they get him to the ground just shy of the 15 five yards on the catch there brings up second down To throw, Young. 
He'll drop this underneath for Jones. And the Packers are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. That's a jet sweep. This is Adams. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Young with it, third and goal. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And Crosby puts it through, and that will open the lead up now to 20 to 7. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist, but time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. After the main field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. Here's Harvin. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Minnesota now ready for their next possession and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs, and that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Here's a screen to Powell. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. Second and two. He finds his man complete. That's Peterson. And he goes out right around the 39. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Watch the curve. They'll run on first down. It's Peterson, and he's gonna be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time, he might actually pop one of these runs. 
But bottom line is, he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. Oh, not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. The Vikings on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and nine. He'll drop to throw. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. He'll look to throw. Now the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions, and I thought he might dump that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. And I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there, I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play, just someone that I can dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. Still 15 yards to go, second down. Back to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Peterson. So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Check, check, Two check, minutes check. left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. So that one will be accepted. fourth down so trailing here in the last quarter let's see how this plays out as expected they're going for it to keep the drive alive he's gonna let it fly toward the back corner of the end zone but he could not get the feet down this will wind up incomplete they had to go for it with such little time remaining and the Packers are gonna get the football back in excellent field position the Green Bay offense ready to take over and a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. First down carry by Jones. And he stopped immediately there. The Vikings going to signal for their first to their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts yeah, as they'll yeah, head to the sideline and talk over what to do next.
An extra defensive back in the game now here for third and four. Young to throw it. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. The Vikings going to use their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. See if the defense wants to stop it as they take the knee. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. How about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. So it's all over. A Green Bay victory. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. 